Hello! Recently, a subscriber asked if there was a way to combine animation nodes and uh, Blender physics simulations somehow. So I started playing around and in this video I would like to show you some of the results that I could come up with and explain a little. Here in this first animation I created a bunch of tiles in animation nodes and then I'm wiggling them in animation nodes. The tiles are all collision objects and the golden sphere is actually a soft body physics simulation and the sphere is moving because of gravity and because of the movement of uh, the tiles and then I put this glass box around it so that the sphere doesn't fall off the side. This was rendered in cycles, I really like the result because I also set the soft body simulation to actually keep the deformations uh, when it crashes into something really hard. This next animation is similar. Here I used animation nodes again to create a uh, grid of hexagonal tiles and then again I'm using, I'm moving them, I'm wiggling them using animation nodes. The tiles are actually animated passive rigid bodies and then of course the spheres are active rigid bodies and this is fun to watch because sometimes the opening between the tiles is big enough for one of the spheres to fall through and then I have another plane on the bottom which is again a a passive rigid body. Now since wiggling objects only gets you so far I thought I would do something else. So here I created uh, a grid of pins in animation nodes and then I'm using the audio input in animation nodes to actually move these pins up and down on the c-axis based on the spectrum analysis of the audio and uh, again they are rigid bodies passive rigid bodies and the objects the colorful objects on top are active rigid bodies this one and the last one are rendered in ev by the way So then I thought, well, how about cloth simulation? So here I'm trying to move cloth again using uh, the audio spectrum of a, an MP3 file. And what I did here was I created a bunch of domes, a grid of domes underneath the cloth and I made them invisible in the render. So when the audio spectrum moves these spheres up and down, uh, you can see that they throw the cloth up in the air and then you get this effect, which is also really cool, I think. And then here is another similar example. I'm creating these objects that you can see in animation nodes, and then I'm moving them based on music on the audio spectrum. I also made the material here look like a view meter, sort of. And then on top of that, I have a Suzanne monkey head, which is a cloth simulation with pressure enabled, and there she goes. So these are some of my examples, and you can see that it is possible to combine physics and animation nodes. However, um, we're using animation nodes to move objects, and then we have the physics simulation on top of that. Now, the other way around is currently not possible in animation nodes without any, you know, Python scripting. So what I mean by that is you cannot simulate something in the physics simulation engine of Blender and then use that result in animation nodes. Please let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a tutorial on one of these animations that I just showed you uh, and also which one would be most interesting to you or if you have a different idea how we could combine animation nodes and physics simulations. The blend files of all of the animations you just saw will be available over on my Patreon. So you can download the blend and just jump in and get started. I hope you enjoyed my little animations. If you did, please give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're interested in more Blender or Animation Notes tutorials, check out the other videos on my channel. Thank you for watching. Crispy out.